Report Level 1, Chapter 8, Mail Merge Using an Existing Data Source or Recipient List. In this video, we're going to use an existing data source. Um, then we're going to go along with go along with the other mail merge process. So we're going to click on mailings, select recipients. We're going to use an existing list. You have to know where your list exists. So we can go to where I have saved an existing list. And as you can see, Mail Merge is now recognizing the fact that I have a list that I'm using. I'm going to come down five and I'm going to insert my address block. Come down one. And I'm going to insert my created line. I press enter. Now I'm ready to merge my documents. So I'm going to go to finish and merge. Edit individual. All. I am now in my merge letter. And as you can see, I have one for Tony, one for Teresa, one for Mary, and one for Kirsten. And I'm done with my mail merge, so I want to save my merge document. Save it here. And it's going to change to the name that I've given it. I'm going to close this up. I'm back into my main document. I can click on save here. I can close this up. And I can close this up. And that's it.